Today is my birthday and I'm a little sad. It's a Thursday, I should actually be at work right now, but we had this weird gas leak situation and they made everyone leave. And while most everyone is like, yay, hooky from work, I'm like, no, I have so much work to do. I would have hid and stayed, but they actually shut everything down. They were making sure everyone was getting out of the building. I think I needed a forced day off though. It actually gives me a few extra hours I wasn't counting on to do whatever I want. Take care of myself film a video, especially since it's been over a month since I've posted anything on here. So welcome to weekday Thursday Hannah, hair in a pony, glasses on. I've been really busy with work and as a result then really tired outside of work and that's pretty much the main reason I haven't been filming. By the time the weekend comes there's so much to do and take care of in those two short days and then before you know it it's Monday morning again and it's end of October and my birthday is here and I don't have hobbies anymore. I'm not complaining about that though, at least that's not my intention. I really like my job, I like the work, I'm very satisfied with it. I've taken on new responsibilities, it's growing me, and just with any new challenge in life, it can be tiring. I'm hoping though that as more time goes on, I kind of build up stamina for it, endurance, like maybe I'll get used to it and I'll get some of my energy back. Speaking of energy, going back to being sad because it's also contributing to feeling more tired, I'm sure. I don't know if this is true for everyone, but life for me has a tendency to have a bunch of things happen all at once. It's complex. I have a lot of really good things happening and going for me right now. And at the same time, I have some bad not so good things going on. So even though I feel so overwhelmed with love today, from all the comments and likes and messages from friends, one of my best friends who's going to school out of state sent me flowers, I was totally not expecting them, made me cry. I always say birthday should be a reminder of how special you are to people and I am definitely reminded of that today. But I also can't help but think about who's missing from my life. If you've ever lost someone or lost a relationship, whether you were the one who ended it or not. I don't want to speak for everyone and I don't like to use extremes like always and never, but it kind of never fully goes away. You move on with your life, you create new memories, you get healing, but it's not like it disappears. Whoever, whatever it was, it will always be a part of you and a part of your history and a part of who you became, who you are now. And yeah, I'm just feeling sad about some of that. I have so many amazing people in my life right now. I am rich in relationships. I couldn't ask for a better husband. And this isn't fake. I'm not trying to give the appearance that I have a perfect marriage, ding. 100 right now, good marriages do exist, good relationships exist. They're all hard, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they're not, but when you find someone who is actively trying to be a better person themselves, who is trying to create a better life for you both, you may not always understand the other person, but you try. That's the key. You know, as human beings, it's really easy to be selfish and then in that selfishness, convince yourself that you're not. It's really easy to be in denial and run from accountability and responsibility. I think one of the hardest things for people to accept is when they've done something wrong. Whether you're so sure you're right and you just don't wanna see anything else or you just don't wanna take on the feeling bad that you messed up, there is so much growth that can happen and wholeness for you and the people People around you when you're able to open up and say I did something wrong I'm sorry I'm sorry I hurt you I want to be better how can I be better it's really hard for everyone to take responsibility for the ways they've hurt others especially because typically it comes with feeling some remorse and just feeling unpleasant things but the alternative is a bunch of people walking around stubborn and cold and convinced that they've not done anything wrong and the people they wronged now carry around this damage and wound and baggage. I've kind of rabbit trailed. My point is I have a lot of really great people in my life. My husband is one of them. And then I have other people in my life who are also great, but are just not trying. At least not trying in a way that I need. And as a result, some relationships come to an end and we experience loss and from that, sadness. What's that famous song? It's my birthday and I'll cry if I want to. I definitely like to make light of my feelings. I for sure take the time to cry and be down, but being able to talk about the things I'm feeling, being able to share and trying to laugh as much as possible, 
helps. Whether or not it's your birthday, whatever day it is, you can cry if you want to. And don't feel bad or crazy or confused if there are days when you feel both happy and sad. That's where I'm at right now. Life is complex, people are complex, and it's all pretty simple once you accept that. At least it's harder on yourself if you're like, why do both good and bad things happen? And why are people both good and bad? You continue to try to be the best you you can. Be accountable for your words and actions. Learn to say you're sorry and mean it. And value yourself enough to move on from those who don't. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> I love you guys. I miss you guys. And I hope to be back sooner than later. Bye.